Oh, okay. Looks like the camera's askew. Anyway, um, time to make a video. Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, coming back at you with a pocket full of kryptonite to talk toys. I know I haven't done a toy video since probably the last video I did, although I can't really remember the last video I did besides the live video I did yesterday. And I want to thank you all that joined me on the live feed to celebrate my birthday. If you didn't make it, you can still watch it, although the audio is not really good. So I will work on getting the audio better on the next, next go around. Um... So what are we going to talk about today? Well, I'm just going to look at a website. I found this website it goes over 40 years of the number one best-selling toy for Christmas in the U.S. Uh, we're going to start in 1977. So we're going to look at 41 years. So 41. Every time. So we're going to look at 41. Now, it's not going to be all action figures, of course. And... Some of them, when we get into the 2000s, I probably won't even remember. Or some of the 90s, so, you know, it's probably a Gia Pet or something. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to go over these together. I'll try to, uh, let me move the chair over this way there. That way, maybe I can put the list up here. So you guys can play along or watch along with me as we go. But let's start with 1977. Uh, and it's no big surprise there. The number one selling toy of 1977. Star Wars. I mean, really, come on. Uh, anybody surprised by that? Okay. 1978. Oh, I remember this one. Simon. You remember that? Simon? I can never get past like three times. That was it. That was a hard game. Simon. The original Simon. It was just so cool and everything. It looks so futuristic and everything, but it was 1978. It was very cool. 1979. Ataro, Taro. Atari video game system. But you know it as the Atari 2600. I don't like when they call it a video game system. I mean a computer system. It's not a computer. It's a video game system. I know technically I guess it is a computer. But you know what I mean. What a classic. 1979, you are a nerd if you didn't get one for Christmas. Combat, Dodge em, Yard's Revenge, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'm not talking games that just came out in the first year. Um, what else were they? Although I think it was released in 77, if I'm right. Uh, what's some other good, good Haunted House. Anybody ever play that one? Adventures, one of my all-time favorite games. Adventure, that is a great game. Uh, Rakitu, no, I think that was for the TRS-80. Ragatu. There was another one that was guy was in the desert. What was that? I remember moving him around like this. Oh, the secret of not the secret of Nim. Drawing a blank. You guys are tell me in the comments what is the Riddle of the Sphinx. That's what it was. Riddle of the Sphinx. A lot of good games. Pitfall. Great game. A lot of bad games also. Maze Craze. Not one of the bad ones, one of the good ones. Maze Craze. Okay, let's take y'all into the 80s now. Let's see what the number one, 1980. No surprise, again, the Rubik's Cube. The original Rubik's Cube. There was a lot of knockoffs, but this was the original Rubik's Cube. Man, this thing was hype, man. This thing was everybody. And the good thing about the Rubik's Cube, it was pretty cheap. You know, I, I can't. it can't be more than $10 back then, so it wasn't like an Atari or something. Uh, everybody had the Atari. I mean, you watch That's Incredible, and they had a competition of people that could do it with their feet. Hell, I couldn't even do it with my hands, much less with my feet. Now, my brother and my sister, they got a book on how to solve it, and they could solve it. They could do it. And I could I was just happy to get one color, and I could impress my my friends. I remember going to school, and there was this girl named Rebecca who said she could do it. And she would always do it, but she wouldn't do it in front of anybody. And we always accused her of taking the stickers off. She's like, I can do the Ruby's Cube. It takes me a few minutes. I can go to the bathroom. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll do it. Do it. That's where I can do it. I think the best. And come back. I bet she was taking the stickers off. Now, I used to break mine apart and do it that way. The Rubik's Cube. Man. Number one best-selling toy in 1981, Smurfs. Now, I know Smurfs was a big hit and everything, but I wouldn't have thought it would have been the number one-selling toy. Uh, I guess they did the little dolls and stuff. And 
Maybe it just means overall toys, but I'm surprised. Smurf number uh, 81. I, I love the Smurfs cartoon, but I didn't have any Smurf toys. Ooh, my ear. You don't want to watch me it, scratch my ear. I don't remember any uh, 81 Smurf toys. I mean, I had a Smurf board game that was crap, horrible. I don't know. 1982. Now, this one, I guess I could uh, say it's just for the boys, but, man, I don't know, man. I guess it's for the girls also. There's a girl on my Twitter, so I can't think of your name right now. She's probably going to be like, yeah, I have one too. The BMX bike. Remember that? The BMX bike. Oh, man, that was... That was, oh, like I said, I've told you before, I wanted the one with the mag wheels. Never had it. I don't, I, don't, I got it one. Oh, I had it, but it got stolen within the first day or two. Wrote it. Parked it at a church. I went to school at a church by the school. I didn't take it to school. I put it at the church parking lot. Chained it all up. They even stole my damn chain. Come on. BMX bikes. Man, you build ramps. My son's got a bike now, but I've never seen him build a ramp. Everybody had to build a ramp. You take a two by four, well not a two by four, you take a piece of wood, put it on some cinder blocks. You didn't really jump far, but you thought you were the evil Knievel. I remember my brother, we had these woods come down the hill like this, right by a creek, or a creek, depending on where you're from. And he would tie a string around his waist and another one to the tree. And have that rope just right, so right at the edge, he would pull him off the bike, his BMX would fly into the Crick or crick. Crazy. I don't know why he did that. I wouldn't have done that. So, uh, let me put an edit here because I got a text I got to answer. Sorry about that. Some text you have to answer. Oh, uh, 19. What were we up to? 1983. This was for the girls, but I guess boys liked it too. I hated this thing. <sighs> cabbage Patch Doll. Blah, cabbage Patch. Oh, I hated Cabbage Patch Dolls. I hated how they looked. I hated their little, I hated their clothes. I mean, look at the picture of this one. I hate his pants all rising up and his knees are all sunk in. Hated cabin bag. Ooh, they're all different and they're all, no, not made the same. They all look the damn same. Everyone looked exactly the same to me. Everyone. I never saw a cabbage patch at all that didn't look just like the other one. I couldn't tell them apart. Hated, but oh. Remember the parents? They would be on the news. People at Toys Us and stuff. Throwing bicycles at other parents and stuff because they couldn't find stupid Cabbage Patch dolls. Oh, 1984. Back to the action figures. Transformers. Whoa, 84. How old was I 84? I was going to see. I'm still buying toys. I never got into the Transformers. I don't know. I was thinking maybe I was too. I was, guess I was. I was stuck on He-Man in 84. Uh, the Star Wars, the He-Man. I didn't have time for Transformers. Now, I did have the one that turned into the gun. I don't remember his name. I'm sure you do. I did have that one, and I had a little keychain one, and I had a little pin. But other than that, Transformers. They were huge. Everyone I know loved Transformers. They were fun. I think I did either. I had it. Oh, I only had the gun, but I had a friend that had, like, this Mack truck, a red Mack truck. I'm sure you know. You're probably killing me that I don't know the name of these guys. 1985, we're back to the girl toys. Girls, y'all play with some crazy stuff. Care Bears. I, what, what am I going to sit here and talk about and say about a damn Care Bear? Now, my friend Boyd, who lived across the street from me, I, you probably heard me talk about him before. I think he had a Care Bear. Had a big moon on his chest or something. I don't know. If you ever want to know what my friend looked like, I think I put him in, I think I showed him once in a video me and him did. But if you're curious what he looked like, just look up. Uh, my buddy doll. That's what he looked like. 1986. We're still talking about toy bears. Teddy Ruxpin. That was another one bestseller. <sighs> Teddy Ruxpin. Remember that creepy doll? You would put a cassette tape in his back. I think in the back. And he would like read a book to you. It would be so scary. He wouldn't blink. Just, uh, uh. You could hear the electronics in his head and everything. I am Teddy Ruxpin. It didn't sound anything like that though. But I remember uh, my friend would put in his uh, Guns N' Roses, I guess Guns N' Roses or some heavy metal band, maybe Color Me Bad, in the back of his of his, of his his brother's Teddy Ruxpin. And it was sing like, Welcome to the Jungle, we got fun and games. Again, it didn't sound like that. It sounded just like Guns N' Roses. I don't know why I did that. It didn't change the voice of anything. Just as weird seeing a teddy bear say all that. 
Uh, what? 87? Kush. Kush balls. I hope I said that. Now, I've seen these things, but I didn't think they were popular. I mean, not to be popular, I didn't think it would be in the top 10, at least number one. I don't even know what you did with these. I don't, I don't know. I remember one time a kid, kid I knew threw it and knocked over a lamp and got in trouble for it. That's all I remember. I can't really talk about Kush balls. So, I, I thought they were just little keychain things. I didn't think it was a best-selling toy of 87. That's crazy. 1988, no surprise here. Nintendo. <laughs> that wasn't that, that, that wasn't the Nintendo saying that. That was me. I know I fooled you with that. Nintendo N E S, but we all call it Nintendo. Oh man, Atari was gone by 82, 83. The crash came by 82. We were mostly out of Atari. By 88, we were all in for Atari. Now, a lot of us was getting into Atari before that, but by 88, everybody was on board. Did I say Atari? Nintendo. Oh, by 1988, everybody was on board for Nintendo. And it changed. There was no drop-off after that. Nintendo came. I mean, you had Atari. You had a little drop-off, a little cold-down period. You had Nintendo, and it's been, bam, uh, video game consoles ever since then. Nintendo still had it. 1989 with Game Boy. Who is calling me? Who is calling me? Hold on a second. Put it on speaker. Hello? Hello, my name is Jennifer, and this call is coming into your life right now for a reason. If you're like many people in the world that have been wishing or searching for a financial lifeline, you're going to want to press the number one on your phone right now. I already got a lifeline. It's called a blue snaggle tooth. Showing regular people how to become financially lit. Sorry about that. Um, where are we at? Game Boy. That was, that. I mean, you could take a video game out of your house. You could take it in the car with you. No more invisible ink pad that you bought at Stucky's when you went to see Ganny. Game Boy, that was pretty cool. I mean, and I remember if you got lucky and you had a friend that had one also, you had this cord, like a USB cord, but it wasn't USB. And you plug them, you could play head to head. We didn't have Wi-Fi, okay? We had the cord to cord. I don't go too far. Tetris was the bomb, as they say back in the 90s. Uh, Tetris. That was the best game to have on. Now I had a Mario game on it. I had Marble Madness, I think, and some other games. But Tetris, it was like made for, it was perfect. That was the perfect game to come with, Tetris. That was great. 1990. Now I was way out of toys by then. I was almost getting into collecting my old toys. But it was a few more years. 1990. Never got into this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Now this photo here doesn't look like a 1990s turtle. But I could be wrong. Let me know. Ninja Turtles, and I think they came out a few years before that, but I guess it was a slow roll to be number one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, I never got into Turtles. I don't know much about the comics. The movies never looked that good to me. I'm not going to sit here and bash them. Just never was my thing. Oh, you remember this craze? Pogs. Now, I, I, I'm going to have to disagree. This is no way this was the number one bestseller of 1991. Now, I know it was a big toy and everything. Don't get me wrong. But 1991 Pogs, even Star Wars Pogs came out. I need to do a video on Star Wars Pogs. Any, No one talks about Pogs anymore. It was part of that collecting game fad that came right before Magic, the card game. You battle or something. I could never figure it out. I think I did try to buy it. So even the Star Trek Playmates figures came with Pogs. That's how popular it was. They first they came with trading cards and then they swapped them and came with Pogs. I even hate the name of it. 1992. Now my niece had this. The Talking Barney. I thought it was popular because she had it. I didn't know it was that popular. She even had a Baby Bop. And I never wanted to punch something in the face as bad as I did Baby Bop. Anybody remember Baby Bop? That was the worst thing. On, and everybody's like, oh, Barney's horrible. Well, watch Barney. And then you see Baby Bop. And you're just like, okay, I understand why other people kill other people. <sighs> Don't even get me started on it, BJ. 93, Talk Boy, the thing from uh, Home Alone. There's one thing this list is teaching me is that the 80s had the best toys. Am I right? Talk Boy. Oh, it was, it was a walk when he talked into it and he played it back. It was in the movie Home Alone 2. I, I never had it. Never wanted it. Now, I did have a Fisher Price video camera that was pretty cool back in the late 80s. Here's something else I never, 94, never got into this either. By 94, I was getting into collecting action figures. 
Batman the Animated Series I was probably really into. The old Star Wars I was getting back into. Star Wars Bendoms I was probably buying them. Don't, don't judge. Uh, Power Rangers. I never got Power Rangers. It looked corny. It looked stupid. It looked cheap. But it's probably how people my age in 94 felt when I watched Space Giants. So I guess I couldn't pick on it too much. Oh, God. Come on now. My ex-mother-in-law's got probably 200 trash bags of these full. That's part of where they, where they belong in a trash bag. We're talking Beanie Babies. Every old grandma was crazy about Beanie Babies. Oh, I got the Beanie Baby, but this one here has got a got an extra stitch on his foot. It's worth thousands of dollars. You know what that Beanie Baby you got with the extra stitching on the foot? That baby, that Beanie Baby rat that you got that has missing an eye? It ain't worth shit. None of these baby babies are worth anything. Anything that's made to be collected ain't worth shit. No, no, no. Somebody's going to tell me in the comments. Hey, I got no baby baby that's worth... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, there's always an exception to a rule where they run a super rare one, but I really doubt beanie babies. Ugh. Oh, 1996. Come on, what are you doing to me? How am I going to talk about this stuff? Tickle me, Elmo. Now, it was pretty popular, I remember. I actually remember buying it for my girlfriend at the time, who later became my wife, who then became my ex-wife, but she loved Elmo. I didn't even know who Elmo was. Can you believe that? When Tickled Me, Elmo... I don't remember Elmo when I was watching Sesame Street. I remember she was trying to tell me who Elmo was, and I was like, you're talking about Grover. And she was like, no, Elmo. I was like, no, that's Grover. You know, the monster at the end of the book, Grover. She's like, no, it's red. I was like, ah, new age toys. Uh, oh, I'm not even going to be able to say this. 1997. Takamahaganda? Takamahaganda? Takamaha... Tamago... Tamago Gachi? Tamago Gachi? Did I say it right? I doubt it. This was just a little keychain and a little... Little computer animation thing. You had this... I don't know. I know some people that had it and you had to feed it and it was annoying and it would... I, I, Oh, it just gets worse. The 90s. What happened, dude? The 90s. Come on, you had Batman the Animated Series. You could make... You guys didn't want to buy that. What else do you have in the... Star Wars Power of the Wars 2? You didn't buy that? 1998? Furby? 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 Come on. God. Now, if I wanted to punch anything in the face, it was Baby Bop. But if there's anything I wanted to kick across the street, it had to be a damn Furby. It was ugly, it was stupid, it was annoying. It was probably the worst single toy ever created by mankind. 1999, the card game Pokemon. Again, something I was too old, never got into. Never understood Pokemon. I never uh, I never tried to catch a Pokemon. I never watched Pokemon the cartoon. I don't know if it's Pokemon, Pokemon, I don't know. I never got into that. Oh. So we're starting the year 2000 here with Razor Scooter. Man, I miss the 80s, man. 80s. At least the 70s were better. The scooter. Bicycle with no seat. A skateboard with handles. Oh, let's see. 2001. Should have just stopped at 99. What is this? I mean, Barbie's bad enough, but now kids wanted to play with dolls that look like whores. Bratz, number number one best-selling toy of 2001. Bratz. All right. Uh, little Jennifer gets to play with a doll that looks like a street hooker. <sighs> 2002. Beyblades. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard it. Never seen a Beyblade. This is the first time in my life I've even said the word Beyblade. I'm not even saying it right. I don't care. I hope I never see it again. So we're going to skip it. What is this? This was number one, two, 2003 and 2004. This is the only one so far on the list that's came in twice. Can you believe it? And I'm not even going to, I don't even know how you pronounce this thing. All I remember, Best Buy used to have a bunch of these and they would cost a lot of money. And it was a robot. And I was like, what is that? It can't be as cool as Burbot. I had a Burbot when I was little, and I learned it wasn't as cool as the commercial. So when I saw this thing, I thought, hey, fool me once, you're not going to fool me twice. Uh, 2005, back to video games. Nintendo stepped aside for Xbox 360. Never got into Xbox. I'm always a one single guy. I played Star Wars. Didn't play anything else. 
Then I got into He-Man. Didn't play anything else. I got Nintendo. And I was like, I'm not buying Sega. I'm not buying PlayStation. I'm not buying a Turbo 16. I'm not buying a Genesis. I'm buying a... I'm not getting an Xbox. Nintendo. Bought every Nintendo that's been made. Uh, and I never got into Xbox until my son was born. And he wanted an Xbox, a PlayStation, and all that. 2006, the PlayStation. Hated the PlayStation. Now... Three, I'm not talking about PlayStation 1 when it came out. My friends all loved it, and I was blowing into my cartridges, still playing Nintendo, and they was like, you got to play PlayStation. I was like, first, they all look like squares. They were all the car- all the anime, all the video games look like they were, the people were made out of squares, and you had to, okay, I put the disc in, loading, 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 loading. I was like, I could be on World 1, 2 by now. Uh, I hated PlayStation, but 2006 was PlayStation 3. Never played 3. This ain't even a toy. Is this a toy? 2007 iPad Touch. <sighs> Showing you a big change between 1977 Star Wars figures, the number one best selling toy, and 2007 what? iTouch. <sighs> Shows how far kids have changed. 2008 Elmo Lives. Sounds like a horror movie. 2009, a nook. These aren't toys. I showed you this list before I made this video. Now the end of this video is ruined. A nook. It's a book, but it's electronic. So it's a nook. Oh. Where were we at? 2010, Apple iPad. Toy. Best selling toy, Apple iPad. That's the problem with the world. You're buying an eight year old iPad for Christmas as a toy. You know what? I know. Oh, well, he wants jumping to play when he's in the car. Well, you know what you give him? You give him that willy guy where you take the pen and you draw the beard and mustache on him. It look like it's made out of uh, fire ash or something with the magnet. That's what you need in the car. You don't need an iPad. Oh, oh shit. Let Rock Elmo? Another damn Elmo? I think whoever made this list. What was it PocketLint.com? PocketLint.com. I think you're just making up shit. I think you just got tired around 2001 and started just throwing shit on the list. 2012, Wii U? Th- this can't be right. 2012, Wii U? The, w- the original Wii is not on here, but the Wii U is? There's no way the Wii U was the top selling toy. Of, I'm not saying, now, it's famous for not selling well, didn't sell as good as the Wii. But there's no way it was number one best selling toy. Nothing against the Wii U. I have it, and I love the Wii U. The, the Wii U. I played Mario Maker on it. It's about the only game I played on it. But I like the Wii U. I had some problems with it. They didn't, if they didn't call it the Wii U, I think it would have sold better. But what? It says here it went on to sell 13.56 million units worldwide. I still I can't find it hard to believe it was the best-selling toy. <sighs> 2003, Big Hug Elmo. Fucking Elmo. What about Grover? Why don't Grover get any love? I love Grover. He was my favorite. He could make a big hug, Grover. Or a big Ernie. Why Elmo? Why's everything got to be Elmo? Oh, shit. 2014. Elsa doll. I don't know what an Elsa doll is, but I know it comes with this little snowman creature. I've seen it on TV, and I hate it. I don't know. I think it's from uh, from the Frozen movie. I've never seen it. Not going to see it. Never going to see it. I don't care how good you tell me it is. Elsa toy. <sighs> Look at it. Why is it here? Why is it got an alien head? And I, I'm, I've seen commercials with Frozen. I've never seen it a little... Never seen anything like that in the movie Frozen. Why has it got big alien eyes? I'm so confused. Let's end this with 2015. It's an old list, okay? 2015 is where we're ending. No, no. Okay, I thought it was over at 2015. Sorry. Back to Star Wars. Finally, number one best-selling Star Wars toy, BB-8. The little electronic one. Spiro, I guess it was called. Now, again, I, I like Star Wars. I know Force Awakens was huge. I find it hard to believe this toy was the number one bestseller of the year. Let's see if he gives me... Yeah, it might have been the... My, Says it was editor's choice and it was so well, but mm, I don't know about that. I don't know anybody to have one. I know a bit about Star Wars toys, and I've never seen it on clearance a lot. 2016, 
Nintendo's back with the NES Mini. And I got it. I don't got it up here. I got it downstairs so I can play it. Again, there's no way this was the best-selling toy of 2016 because you couldn't find a damn thing. I think they only made like 10 of them to sell them out of the stores. It was like a year later when most people could even get it. <sighs> this is just pissing me off here. 2007 Gosmo. Cosmo Kramer the toy? I've never even seen this thing. i never even heard of this. Oh, man. I should have really. 2018 Boxer R.I. Robot. These people are just making up shit now. I mean, 2018, I mean, you could have done some Fortnite toy or some, what's that other, ro robotics or whatever, Robotopics or something. Come on. 2019, LOL Surprise. Now, I don't know what LOL Surprise is. It's the camper set, the two-in-one camper set was the number one seller. And I give you this, I, I've seen these at the store, these little girl toys, LOL toys, or LOL toys. They look stupid. They look, they made for little girls. I'm not a little girl, so I don't get into them. But if you're a little girl, maybe you enjoy it. And I can understand why this is number one. I don't disagree with this one. I know it's pretty popular. Is that it? Is that all? 2019? Law? If there's anything we learned in this video, guys, it's that the 1980s kick ass when it came to toys. The 90s, they had good toys, but it wasn't the top selling toys. And then in the 2000s, Shit, by the end of 2000, you wouldn't even buy toys. You'd buy damn electronics and call them toys. Oh, yeah. I think my throat's going out, right? Anyway, that's a look at the best-selling Christmas toys since 1977 to 2019. Let me know. Was there any of you surprised were not on the list? Or was there one that I bashed and hated that you loved? Let me know all that and more in the comment area below. And don't forget, you can become a Patreon supporter and a YouTube supporter, and all that information is in the description below, and you get some exclusive content, and uh, I think I'm going to suck on an ice cube or something. Ugh, uh. That's it. We're done. Subscribe to the channel. Thumb up so I know you like my content, and we'll talk again soon. Junk man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.